Hi, and welcome to another BandLab bit. Today, we are going over grid systems basics. So BandLab has a grid system that helps us line up loops, MIDI, and recorded audio. And if you take a look, you can see their timeline is divided into a series of bar lines. So for us, each of the bar numbers is a equal division of time across the timeline. Now, each bar can be divided into a subdivision of time dependent on the grid setting. So depending on what you see in each bar, it can be divided down to, at the most, 32 equal sections of time. Besides subdividing time, when you need to cut a loop, the grid system comes in handy for helping you get an exact spot for where you want to cut something. Right now I have my grid set to one bar as my division of time. We're going to go to view and then the grid size, and we're going to break our bar into a smaller section, so half a bar. And you can see right now, once we get that done, whenever I move my playhead, it jumps halfway through each bar of time. So from each number is half the distance to the next number for it. This will help us when we're dividing into a loop if we need to, or if we need to get something more exact for lining up. So the grid system works on factors of two. So we're going to go down to a quarter, which means for every bar of time, there are four equal sections within it. And you can see right there, I'm moving across the one, two, three, four. And next, we'll go down to the next smallest division, which is 1 8th. So we have eight equal parts per bar. And you can see the playhead locks into each separate section as you move across that bar of time. And this makes your ability to slice a, at the playhead into a smaller and smaller division. With that, there is a limit. Once you hit a 1 16th size, so you have 16 equal parts across a bar, that's the smallest section you can slice at the playhead with, is 1 16th of a bar. And you can see as I move the playhead, it, it snaps to each of those little separate subdivisions at the 1 16th size. Now we can go down to the smallest division, which is a 1 32nd. So that means our bar of time is divided into 30 second equal parts. And this is kind of getting into where you need to nudge audio one way or another. Uh, you can't cut or slice at the playhead with it but it does add a level of incremental precision when you're trying to line up audio. Now you can totally turn off the grid system and just go by eyeballing things to move audio and line it up. There's no problem with that, just turn off snap to grids and then you can just adjust it by sliding the loop along the timeline. And you can turn the snap to grid back on and you're back to moving in incremental points across the timeline. The last grid setting is actually the topmost one. It's called smart and it relates to whatever you have the time signature set to in BandLab, it will set the subdivisions to whatever you have the time signature set to. So let's review. The grid divides each bar up into equal sections of time. You can use the grid system to line up audio and MIDI. You can set the subdivision from one whole bar down to 32 equal sections within a bar. You can only slice a section as small as 1 16th of a bar with the grid system, but you can turn off the grid by turning off snap to grid. The smart subdivision is set to the time signature. And that's it for us today. I hope to see you again for another BandLab bit.